Hi, good morning. Uh, my name's Innes, uh, and I'm the creative director of Instill, which is a brand design and uh, WordPress uh, website business in Stockholm. A creative director is a, a designer. He's a graphic designer or she's a graphic designer normally. And our job is to orchestrate um, the creative process of helping, in our case, a business represent itself in a distinctive fashion to uh, its audience. So I will create a brand. Part of that is developing and designing logos. Um, I will uh, work with illustrators and photographers and writers and filmmakers to help my clients communicate and highlight uh, their services as best they can. Uh, there isn't a typical day. Um, I, it's, it's, it is a, it's a two part process. One, one is uh, working with clients and understanding clients and understanding what they need and what they need to communicate and who they need to communicate to. Um, the other side is, is the creative process, is understanding that brief from the clients and transferring that to uh, design or, or video or photography uh, and, and that side of things. Um, well, from school days, it's, it's drawing and painting and, one, and, and starting, you know, with those, with those basics, having a, having a love of drawing, having a love of creating images and taking photographs. Um, from that, I, uh, I went uh, to um, MMU and did a foundation course, which allowed me to look at all sorts of different creative fields from architecture to pottery, from fashion to textiles. Um, which gave me a real broad understanding of, of the creative um, careers out there. Um, I specialised then in graphic design and did a degree in graphic design. And from that, um, I became a junior designer in um, various uh, small um, agencies in, in London. And then um, I moved to Edinburgh and, uh, and set up my own businesses up in Edinburgh and then I was asked to come down to Manchester and I became creative director of a large uh, business to business uh, marketing agency in Manchester and one of the things about my business is it can be it can be a bit bumpy because you work in teams and if, if the economy goes down then you sometimes find that those businesses don't want to work with a market agency and therefore those teams are, are, are made redundant and I was made redundant and uh, from that I set up on my own in the Manchester area and eventually met my business partner and set up in Still. By the things now I'd be very keen to uh, look at moving images. I think that is the way the design and creative market is going. People don't want to read anymore. They still want to see websites and they still need to build websites and people still need creativity uh, and those core, those core principles. But in terms of practical things you could do, I think learn Illustrator, learn uh, uh, Photoshop, the sort of two basic pieces of software, but get to understand how the moving image works, understand filming and editing, because that is the way it's going to go. And I think it's really, really important to get out there and meet people. Not just meet people of your own age, but meet people that are older, that have businesses or senior designers or people that are in that field. So um, if you can, it's not always easy, but, you know, get out there, put yourself in a position where you could possibly meet somebody that could help you. So whether it could be through a rugby club, a hockey club, any sort of clubs, you could also be joining local business networks. Um, you know, just get out there and meet people.